Well, friends and family are paying tribute to the owner of the Slippery Noodle. Hal Yegi lost his long battle with cancer today. Yeah, News 8's Demi Johnson joins us now. And Demi, uh, Yegi was known really across the entire country. Yeah, when Hal Yegi started his business, his friends tell me he could have never imagined what it would become. Thousands of artists have walked through its doors over the years. Big names and small bands, they all had a place at the Slippery Noodle. Some say it's the heartbeat of the city, the place where all musicians have a stage and voice. But the Slippery Noodle couldn't carry a beat without its soul. He said, you know, I just want to do blues and we're all telling him, you know, blues isn't going to work. Everybody wants a dance band or this or that. He's, he was set on doing the blues. That was in the mid-80s when Hal Yegi took over his late father's business. Tony Evans was there when it all began. It was just a really exciting experience, you know, with a friend of ours was opening a bar. Evans reached out to his old high school friend Hal on Sunday. He knew his two-year battle with lung cancer had turned ugly quick. It's been a rough week, you know, just kind of waiting. We knew he didn't have long. When Yegi took his last breath Thursday, he left behind a lifetime of stories. It's just those kind of memories, you know, that what are, what are, where, what, where do I put them? I keep them where they're at. And where they're at is in the slippery noodle, where Evans believes Yegi will do his best to stay as well. After all, Yegi once told News 8, you can feel many spirits inside his bar, including his own father's. We used to have the old heavy, you know, metal rods locking the doors and everything, and they would all be stacked up over in a corner where they get when you open up. And I always just kind of figured it was my dad who had passed away when I took the place over that it was my dad helped me open. Family was his purpose, and his friends say also part of his business. Evan's daughter, Amanda Clark, shared a special bond with Yegi. She lost her husband to cancer just a few years ago. So Hal was always really in tune with um, what was going on in my life. He never missed one of our fundraisers. Um, and so I saw him and he was quick to tell me about his scans and just how he was doing and um, you know worried about his family and what was gonna happen. Um, but in good spirits, and he, we took a selfie right away so I could send it to my dad. It's a photo she'll cherish forever, like her dad with his memories. His legacy will live on through that building and, and through the, the marvelous venue that he created. And while Evans isn't sure what's next for the venue. I feel it's in good hands. Yeah, I feel it's in good hands. He's certain its soul will keep the music going forever. If you want to help honor Hal Yegi, family and friends tell me you can donate to the American Cancer Society or the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Those were two of his favorite charities. In studio, Demi Johnson, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.